Sports Center, the National Broadcasting Company presents Late Night with Jimmy Fallon. Tonight's guests are Robert De Niro, Snowman, musical guest Van Morrison, and featuring the legendary Roots crew. Welcome uh, to oh, our very first show. Man. Well, thanks for having me, Jamie. It's an honor to be here. You're the first, the first human to sit yeah. in our chair as a guest. And I, what do you think of the set? Everything looks fantastic, Jimmy. This moment, I just feel so fortunate for us to be where we are as a society today. It feels like yesterday when I was on the beach with the Quakers, and now it's astonishing how we can all live in harmony. I wanted to wish you a happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, was this past weekend? Yeah, it was. Do you enjoy birthdays? No, I actually do not. Ever since a young age, it's kind of been a forgotten event, as my parents were either busy, they forgot about it, or I guess now they're just not present. No. You never did, even as never. a kid? No, not even then. I remember receiving a kunk for my 10th birthday, and other than that, I've received different um, postcards with pagoons on it, but it's, that's just about it. I love the movie Parasite. Um, it is one of the best films of the year. You directed it and co-wrote this film. I went in not knowing what the movie was about and uh, uh, just heard buzz that this was great. And I loved it. I, I loved it because I don't want to spoil anything. It's hard yeah. to describe the movie. How, how do you describe Parasite? So it's all about my past before the prior apocalypse and it truly emphasizes my relationship with Craig, the creator of our majority. It's all about a broken love story between him, Oryx, and I, and what led to the mass genocide of humans. Overall, I think it is an enticing movie which helps educate our world about our past from a different perspective. Take a look at this. They're programmed to drop dead at age 30, no old age, no anxieties. I thought you were working on immortality. Immortality is a concept. If you take mortality as being, well, not death, uh, but the foremost knowledge of it and the fear of it, then immortality is the absence of such fear. Just think of babies, Jimmy. Babies are immortal. 